This is the August 31st, 2012 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The incoming class of 2016 promises to be an exceptional group, with an increase in average SAT scores and more than 100 receiving a perfect 800 SAT critical reading or math score. 86% of the students are coming from the top 10% of their high school classes. Rensselaer has been named one of the top engineering schools in the world by the industry-focused website Business Insider. The rankings were based on surveys of engineers, professionals, and entrepreneurs working at technology companies. Lori Leshen, Dean of the School of Science and former NASA Administrator, is a member of the science team that's overseeing the NASA rover Curiosity mission. Leshen has been involved with Curiosity for more than a decade, and she's announced that Rensselaer students will be involved in efforts to analyze the data Curiosity is sending back to Earth. President Shirley Ann Jackson has been elected as an International Fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering, chosen for her research and leadership experience in industry, education, and government, as well as her expertise in high-energy physics. Bioseparations and bioprocessing expert Stephen Kramer has been elected a Fellow of the American Chemical Society. The ACS recognized him for excellence in leadership, volunteer service, and for outstanding achievements in and contributions to science, the profession, and the society. Groundbreaking research to advance the application of stem cells to address injury and disease is taking place at the Rensselaer Center for Stem Cell Research, a new center funded by New York State that opened in June. The Change the World Challenge is a twice-yearly competition open to all current students. Up to 10 ideas that can improve the human condition are recognized as winners, and in 2010, an added Best Of Award was created. This year, the Best of the Best Award was presented to graduate students Jonathan Ashdown, Kyle Wilt, and Anthony DeMeo for their breakthrough technology Ultrasonicom. Engineering researchers at Rensselaer made a sheet of paper from the world's thinnest material, graphene, and then zapped the paper with laser or camera flash to blemish it with countless cracks, pores, and other imperfections. The result is a graphene anode material that can be charged or discharged ten times faster than conventional graphite anodes used in today's lithium-ion batteries. Rebuilding and Healing the Human Body will be the topic of the fifth in a series of biotechnology public interest forums to be held on Thursday, October 4th, starting at noon in the Cebus Auditorium. For the past seven years, Rensselaer has offered numerous summer programs that focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics disciplines. This summer, elementary, middle, and high school students, along with college students and K-12 teachers, immerse themselves in a variety of credit courses, academic short courses, enrichment programs, and sports camps, including hockey, football, and basketball development camps for boys and girls. Professor James Hendler has been named the new head of the Department of Computer Science. Dr. Hendler is currently a senior constellation professor in the Tevilus World Constellation. Wednesday, October 3rd, will mark the grand opening of the Douglas Mercer 77 Laboratory for Student Exploration and Innovation in the Department of Electrical, Computer, and Systems Engineering. Rensselaer in May announced the new Manufacturing Innovation Learning Lab, or MIL, focused on educating the next generation of manufacturing and leaders and pioneers. MIL builds upon the many successes of its predecessor, the award-winning Advanced Manufacturing Laboratory. And the Office of Alumni Relations will celebrate Reunion and Homecoming, Rensselaer's largest alumni tradition, the weekend of October 5th through 7th, with a special visit from alumni members of the Mars Rover Curiosity Team and Dean of Science Lori Leshen, as well as a host of other programs. And that's it for this edition of Inside Rensselaer. For these stories and more, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.